Hey folks, everything new under the sun. What you're looking at is the solar assistant uh, Pi unit. It's up in the rafters because I don't have enough uh, Ethernet cable to go all the way to my router. It does have Wi Fi, of course, but uh, the Wi Fi isn't as uh, uh, usable where it exists, so it's hanging up there. Uh, but I want to talk to you about the failure of the solar assistant today and what I had happen. So I had the original or sort of the, the newer Raspberry Pi 4 and I had it plugged in with this unit which comes with the Pi 4 and sorry for the noise the inverter is right beside but this is the DC to DC uh, solar assistant power supply which goes directly to the uh, the bolts on the terminals on the battery and the problem with that is if you cycle the battery um, there's a high voltage that comes out initially see it wired up there so directly to the battery with the DC to DC converter but it, what it did is it burned out uh, the USB the power input on the original Raspberry Pi so I had to get a new Raspberry Pi which is now a Pi 3 replacement under warranty uh, but that's no good because I, I used to have a Pi 4 which was faster the other thing it burned out was this uh, FTDI USB to um, uh, COM port unit and these are hard to find. Ones that actually work properly uh, with the EG4 unit, uh, they're hard to find. And not all USB to, com to nine pin COM ports uh, cables work. So it actually blew the last one I had. So it blew the Raspberry Pi power input and this particular US, or not this USB cable, but the other USB cable I had there. So what I did instead of connecting it directly to the battery was I'm just using the wall wart up there, uh, 120 volt, and I'm, I've got it plugged into one of my outlets that is ultimately plugged into the panel from the EG4. And that way I power it with 120 volts, which of course is completely inefficient, but I'm hoping in terms of uh, uh, power spikes, uh, the power spikes won't be as strong, and so they won't burn out the Raspberry Pi. Whereas uh, what happened before was I had cycled this battery, uh, turned it off, turned it back on, and I think the, uh, the initial uh, amps that came out of it, the initial voltage spiked. And there is an inline, there is an inline fuse on here, which I think is somewhere. There isn't actually, oh yeah, the fuse is right here. There, you can see. So the fuse is there, it didn't actually blow the fuse. Um, it just blew the, again, the input for the Raspberry Pi. So be careful when you're plugging it uh, into your battery directly using that DC to DC connector. If you don't, I would say disconnect it, pull the, uh, um, the fuse on that DC to DC power supply before you turn your battery off and then on again, because uh, you could fry your solar assistant. And then I basically lost I lost a year's worth of data on my Raspberry Pi 4 because they can't transfer the data yet. Uh, Solar Assistant, the company, doesn't have a method to transfer from one Raspberry Pi to another without a lot of effort. And apparently it's not on the SD card or it doesn't transfer over, uh, which doesn't make any sense to me. But if you know the answer to that, then put it in the comments how you how you do that. But I effectively lost all my data for a year, a year's worth of data or so from this so hopefully this will help the next guy not blow their raspberry pi thanks for watching i'll leave it there we'll see you guys in the next video